Hey everybody, welcome back to Mondays with Mark Allen. Yeah, I did take a little break. I was up at Mount Shasta in Northern California at a retreat with Brant Secunda, taking time to just disconnect from sort of the, the modern world things and reconnecting with those timeless elements of life that go on no matter what, nature, just amazing. No shortage of amazing things going on in sports, that's for sure, with the Olympics. The U.S. winning a silver medal in the mixed relay and triathlon, first time that event has ever been contested. Katie Zafaris, Kevin McDowell, Taylor Nibb, and Morgan Pearson putting together a foursome that was truly, truly amazing. One of the topics, clearly, that's been talked about over and over and over is uh, Simone Biles and her decision to pull out of the competition, to reassess, to deal with personal things that were going on inside of her. There's been a lot of discussions about it, conversations among friends and, and people that, I, that I've been hearing in odd places. Some of them are saying she should have just, you know, pulled it together and gone out there and competed anyway. And others are like, hey, it had to be pretty bad for somebody of her talent to just say, I can't do it right now. And that's something that I think is super important to, to keep in mind. It's not that she couldn't have competed. For sure she could have pitched up, done the best she could, but maybe she couldn't find a reason to actually get out there and compete. Athletes can go through that. I had that happen to me after my third Ironman win. Uh, I won in 89, 90, 91 training in 1992 for what I was hoping would be my fourth Ironman victory. I was out on a long bike ride the last day of winter, March uh, that year, got hit by a truck, broke my collarbone, ended up having to go to the emergency room, um, was back home at my house later that day knowing that this was really not good because that meant six weeks of rehabbing my shoulder and who knew I didn't know if it was actually going to work the same even if it the bone did heal just a lot of doubt was was creeping in that night I passed out in, in the in the bathroom actually blood whatever blood pressure dropped I passed out smashed my head on the toilet blood dripping and coming down my face I had to go back to the emergency room second time in the same day. I was broken. I was completely emotionally broken. I was laying there on the floor of my bathroom after smashing my head on the toilet thinking, what am I doing? It was like I was floating between worlds. I couldn't come up with one reason why I should go back and race in Hawaii. I could not come up with one reason why it had any importance for me to do any kind of racing, to train, to push my body. I was in between worlds is the best way to describe it. I couldn't find a reason or a purpose almost to even get up off the floor at that moment. If that had happened to me, let's say around or in the Olympics, there's no way I could have just pitched up at the start line of a race. Maybe Simone Biles went through that same process. Sometimes everything in in your inner landscape just comes to the surface whether it's something personal something that's happened to you a question of what has importance to you and until you can come up with an answer you're paralyzed there is no way that you can compete this happens often at the end of a season after you're you, you're finished and you're assessing and but sometimes it happens in the most untimely of moments. Whatever triggered that for Simone Biles, you know it had to be pretty heavy, serious, important for her to say, I can't do it. It's not like she was just dropped into the Olympics <laughs> with, you know, winning the lottery. I mean, she earned her way there. And it's not like she can go, oh, I'm not in the mood today. I'm going to come back next week and do it. No, you get one chance every four years or one chance every five years in this case. It's something for all of us to think about and look at. Athletes are amazing. World-class athletes are incredible. They deal with a lot of pressure. Sometimes they deal with it, sometimes they can't. Sometimes it's so overwhelming, you're paralyzed. You cannot compete. You can't find your purpose. And without purpose, why go? Let's hope that all of our athletes out there really stay tuned into what is important for them to regroup 
after that second time in the emergency room on the same day, it took me a few weeks. Actually, it took me over a month. And finally, my purpose came back. I realized in those first three Ironman wins, I was trying to win. That was, that was I mean, of course you're always trying to win, but that was an overwhelming reason and purpose. But I also saw that no matter how many Ironman races I won, it wasn't going to completely move my internal landscape into a positive place all the time. I was still going to have to deal with myself, still deal with life, still keep evolving and learning as a person, still keep picking up the pieces after what in inevitably are going to be disappointing moments when things don't work out the way we hope. And then I came up with the reason to go back. I loved that race, the Ironman in Hawaii. I loved the challenge and I loved seeing if I could get my body just a little bit better than I had brought into that race in previous um, years. That became my purpose in the final three Ironmans that I did win, four, five, and six. My purpose was to go out there and give a little bit more than I'd ever given before. That had meaning, that had purpose, and that inspired me. I hope Simone finds what continues to inspire her. Mondays with Mark Allen. See you next week. Mm -hmm.